Hi everyone. Welcome to this citation lesson on short form citation. The roadmap for this presentation is as follows. We'll cover the general basics of short form citations, what is id and its rules, what is alternate short form, when to use alternate short form, alternate short form for cases, and alternate short form for statutes. Short form in general. Full citations contain all the information a reader may need to determine the source of the cited material. Depending on the specific source cited, full citations can be long and cumbersome. The Blue Book allows the use of shortened citation forms for repeated references to the same authority. So the general rule is once a full citation has been given, a shortened form may be used for subsequent citations to the same authority found within the same general discussion. Id, generally. Id is the abbreviation for the Latin word item, which means the same. Id is used to indicate that the immediately preceding citation is to the same authority. If there has been an intervening citation to a different authority between the current citation and the previous mention of the same authority, id cannot be used. And an alternate short form must be used instead. It may be used for cases, statutes, constitutions, periodicals, etc. There are a couple rules to follow when using id. Rule number one, for all id short forms, use id to cite the same authority as was cited in immediately preceding citation. Note that it is always underlined in italicized and it is only used with citation sentences and clauses. Below are some examples regarding id's use in a sentence. As you can see, it is right to use the case name Prince here rather than id, because by plugging in id, we would be citing to the immediately preceding citation. There is none. Id rule number two, pinpointing same page or section. When the cited material is found on the same page or in the same section as the immediately preceding citation, no pinpoint is needed. Just use id. Id rule number three, pinpointing to a different page or section. When cited material is found on a different page or in a different section than the immediately preceding citation, include a pinpoint. So for pages, you must include the word at and the new page number. See, for example, id at page 321. For sections, you must include a section symbol and the new section number. See, for example, id, section symbol, section number 55A. For subsections, you must include the section symbol, the section number, and the new subsection number. Do not include only the new section number. So see, for example, id, section symbol, 55D. Alternate short form citations in general. Individual authorities, including cases, statutes, and constitutions have special rules for short form citations when id cannot be used. Blue Book White Pages Rule 10 controls the form for case citations and Rule 12.10 controls for statutes. Case alternate short form. When id cannot be used because one or more intervening citations to different authority, an alternate short form must be used. So below, as you'll see, is the alternate short form format. Like id, there's a couple of rules to using alternate short form. Rule number one for alternate short form, provide only the information below. One, the shortened case name. Two, volume number. Three, reporter name, abbreviated according to Blue Book Table One, the word at, and a pinpoint page number, whether it is to a new page number or the same page as the prior citation to the same case. Remember to omit all other information found in a full citation, including the beginning page number, core information, and year. 
case alternate short form, rule number two. Rule number two pertains to the case names. To identify the case, use the first party listed in the full citation. Omit the other party. Now, there are two exceptions to this rule. One, frequent litigants, and two, two cases with the same name. With regard to frequent litigants, if the first party listed in the full citation is a frequent litigant, choose a second party for your shortened case name. Frequent litigants include most governmental units, agencies, or officials. Frequent litigants, however, do not include most businesses. With regard to two cases with the same name, when your document includes short form citations to two cases with the same name, choose the second party for one or both cases to avoid confusion. Case alternate short form rule number three, shortening of long names. Longer names of businesses or organizations may be shortened following these guidelines. Enough of the name must be retained so that it cannot be confused with a person's last name. Do not shorten one word unless the party is very well known and it cannot be confused with an individual. Drop corp, inc, co, and similar terms unless it would leave only a single word. Here are some examples of alternate short forms. As you can see, the basic alternate short form, you have the full case sites, Pertel versus Mason, Rehe versus DiStefano, and in the shortened version, you keep just Perto and Risi, along with the volume number, reporter name, the word at, and the pinpoint page number. For frequent litigants, the same applies. However, remember, we drop the frequent litigants name and instead go to the other side of the V. So as you can see, state and the United States are dropped as their frequent litigants. Alternate short form for statutes. After an intervening citation to a different authority, use an alternate short form that clearly identifies the statute being cited. Below are situations involving alternate short form for statutes. As you can see below, you should use one of the following versions of an alternate short form for statutes, depending upon the situation, predominantly being whether it clearly identifies the statute. All right, there's a quiz on Canvas named Short Citations for you to take. If you need any assistance, please do not hesitate to ask your TAs for help.